Hello everyone, happy Sunday. We are going to do a masking technique, um, simple sponging technique using Stampin' Up's Pattern Party Decorative Mask. We're gonna use three of the four masks. And this is gonna be a real simple technique, but I wanted to just try something with these masks. I've had them now for a month or so and haven't used them. So I wanted to do something real um, easy and quick. And I also wanted to use the new um, twinkle, little twinkle stamp set. Sorry for the glare. Um, we're going to use the same because I wanted to, to have something bold pop out of the car. And, you, and as you can see, it does. Um, so let's get started. I'm going to get this out of the way. The first thing we're going to do is set down our piece of Whisper White. And we want our clouds. Now I'm just going to hold this. Um, this is not a real precise technique because I'm just doing the sponging. So I'll just make sure I have a finger and hold the paper. I just want to lay down a real light layer of pink fluffy clouds. Because everybody needs pink fluffy clouds in their life. Just gently tapping into my powder pink stamp pad. We're using three colors today. We're using powder pink. Let me make sure we're using powder pink. Yeah, we're using powder pink. And we are using Flirty Flamingo. And we're using Melon Mambo. Now, on the sample I showed you just a second ago, I think I got Melon Mambo a little too dark. So I'm going to try to go a little more light handed with that color when we get there. All right, so that's the clouds. As you can see, just a really light, subtle color. And then I want my brick pattern. Straighten up my piece. Just gonna lay down the bricks. And for this one, we're using Flirty Flamingo. Keep my stamp pad off to the side so I don't cover up my website. And again, I'm just going over this real lightly. Because the thing is, is I want to layer it. I don't... It's not meant to be precise. got the whole thing. Alright, so you can see the flirty flamingo bricks in front of the powder pink clouds. And then for my last stencil, I'm going to bring in this, I, I guess you call it a medallion piece. I'm going to bring that in, just kind of have it off to the side because I don't want it to cover the whole the whole piece of Whisper White. And so what I'm gonna do is, remember I said I was gonna try to go a little bit lighter? See, and I'm not even pressing that hard and I'm still getting quite a lot of coverage. So I'm trying to just be a little bit lighter handed as I go through. All right, so we're done with the ink pads with the exception of Memento Tuxedo Black. But what I need to do before I do that is I need to actually cut this piece of paper down. I didn't do that before the video started, so let me just, I want three and seven eighths. by five and an eighth because what I do what I have is I have a piece of basic black that is four by five and a quarter that I want to layer this on and before I do the stamping I want to do the cutting so I'm not having it go off the side see so it layers right there like that so let's do the stamping 
This I want Love You More Than All the Stars from Little Twinkle. I just love this saying. We're also going to use the punch, as you can see. I just got this stamp set and punch just a few days ago, so I've been itching to use it. Um, all right, so I'm going to press down very firmly. All right, love you more than all the stars. And that actually looks better. You can see the difference. You can see the difference in the two layers. This is the Melamambo is darker, and this is a little bit lighter, and I like this piece. It pops a little bit more. All right, before we go any further, I'm going to bring in my stamp chamois and clean my stamp off real quick. Perfect. Then I'm going to take the, I think this is the Twinkle Builder Punch. It comes in a bundle with the little Twinkle stamp set. You can save 10%. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move it in here off to the side until it doesn't go any further. Give it a punch. And then I've got my moon and stars. And you can even use these little pieces for maybe a shaker card. I'm just going to move them off to the side for right now. So before I layer it onto my basic black piece, I want to mist it with some shimmer spray. And I'll, show, I'll tell you how I made this. I took one of our Stampin' Spritzers. And I took an entire Wink of Stella clear glitter brush pen. And I cut it. So I took the washer piece off and I cut it so I actually opened it up and then I dumped it in here all with the, the little what do you call that the bearing and everything so that it so that it continues to do its thing and right now I've probably got about half of it left I've got some rubbing alcohol in here so that it keeps wet and I'm just going to do the shimmer spray so I'm going to do that, actually I'm going to move this out of the way. You just want, you want to be about almost a foot away. All right, so you'll see that start to get shimmery as, as it dries. And you can do that with any of your re-inkers as well. Um, that's a really pretty technique. All right, what I'm going to do while that's drying is I'm going to take card, a Melon Mambo card base. And this is four and a quarter by five and a half. Grab my bone folder here. I've actually got some of the shimmer on. This is probably dry enough to, it's actually still a little bit wet, but that's okay. We're going to go ahead and go for it anyway. I'm going to use my Tombow. Try and get around all these little stars. I don't need very much of this stuff. I've always been a taper in a girl, but recently I'm using the Tombow more and more just because it's honestly a little more economical <laughs> because you get to it takes a long time to use up one of those bottles so when I said I'm a tape runner girl I'm generous with my tape runner so I end up going through them really fast anyway then I'm going to use the silver mini trim and I think this is about 21 inches worth I'm just going to tie it around. I just want an extra bit of sparkle. I mean, this is a card about stars, right? So we just need all the sparkle that we can get. I'm just going to tie it. Just a knot. This doesn't need to be fancy. Tighten that a little bit. This is kind of hard to... There. Cut the excess off and I can use this on another piece. I just wanted an extra little bit of embellishment. And that's actually a little looser than I would like, 
but that's okay. I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a trick. I am going to take a piece of washi tape that I have just on my desk for kind of as a tool. And I just taped it to the back, so I tightened it up a little bit. I'm also going to do something else with this. As I'm putting the dimensionals on, as I'm putting the dimensionals on, I'm going to put one over there so it holds it in place. generous with my dimensionals as well. <laughs> Put that one up there so we can see that. Nobody sees the inside of the card, so or the you know the back piece of, of your layering piece. off of here. You're almost done with this card. I've got sequins laying around. Make sure I've got that center on there. Oh, see, that's pretty. It's bright. It's pretty. It's fun. I like the black moon and the stars. It's a real good contrast. And I think it's an awesome way to use the pattern party masks with um, the little twinkle bundle. And as I said, this stamp set and punch is available as a bundle and 10% discount. Um, also, there are a couple of awesome specials that Stampin' Up! is having this month. There is the pattern, um, actually the, the DSP, Designer Series Paper Sale, buy three, get one free. There's, I believe, 10 different um, Designer Series papers that you can choose from. And that is the, during the month of July, July first through the 31st you buy three you get one free also and this is this is such an awesome deal stampin up is giving you when you sign up to be a demonstrator between july 1st and july 31st 2018 stampin up is giving you your choice of a set of stampin pads of a family so if you wanted the brights or the regals or the the neutrals you could um, choose your Stampin' Family pad, and that's a set of 10 pads for free with your starter kit. Your starter kit's $99. You get $125 worth of product, and it's free shipping. Um, the great thing about that also is, is that if you're a demonstrator in July, you can pre-order the color your season suite. So if you are interested in any of that, you can go to my store, terrytakashiki.stampinup.net. You can also visit my blog blogspot.com and I have a hostess code which is DTQEU9ST so if you use that hostess code and your order is more than $30 I'll send you a free gift if your order is 150 or more don't use the hostess code and keep the hostess rewards for yourself um, if you have any questions about this card or any of these specials um, leave a comment below and I will um, get in touch with you. Thanks. Have a great day.